Green Riding to all my kings and queens. Hope everybody have a blessed day today. Hope everybody make the most of their day. Hope everybody started their day off right. Was able to do their morning routine. Uh, story time, story time, story time. Um, which I'm pretty sure y'all heard this story before. But I just want to share this with y'all. Uh, in 2015, I ended up losing my job at Victoria's Secret. Doing something dumb. So um, after that, I ended up putting my mind and my focus to more spirituality. And start focusing more on myself. All right, start doing more writing, start doing more reading. And also, um, like I said, just start focusing more on myself. Uh, what did Will want? What did Wilbur Williams Jr. want in life? So um, I always had a dream of um, having my own gym. So what I started doing, I started working out like crazy. Started going to ULM, uh, start working out at ULM like crazy. Um, end up playing basketball. I used to play basketball uh, almost every day. Sunday is when that thing would get packed. Um, we'll be in there all day on Sundays um, And I, I, I was doing pretty good because my mind was focused. I mean, I didn't have no job at the time uh, I put all my energy and all my focus into um, My fitness journey and uh, just me just trying to better myself physically and also mentally too because uh, My mind state was kind of fucked up when I lost that job, and, you know um, like I said, I Lost friendships like I said, I lost some good people because of uh, because of that situation But it made me a better person when it came to mental strength and uh, physical strength and uh, emotional strength all those type of things and spiritual strength too also so uh so during that time 2016 like i mean 2015 and like i said 16 i was working out like crazy um february 28th i mean we go to i go to the go to the gym go to ulm gym with my homeboys we go in there hoop, so we get some good hoops in um there was one guy in there he was pretty damn good so you know shit i had to be the one that holds him so um it was pretty quick, pretty good. You know, I actually was holding, I actually was holding it down. But on one play, um, Coach Sam, uh, Jimmy Sam ended up setting the screen. You know, you know my homeboy saying screen left, screen left, screen left. And you know, I'm just trying to fight over the screen because the kid was a pretty good, the guy was a pretty good shooter. So, um, I was, like I said, he was also quick, quick as hell, man. But he was a pretty good shooter. So what I had to do, I couldn't go under the screen because if I went under the screen, he was good enough to knock that shot down. So I went over the screen, okay? So you know, I end up just kicking my leg over, going over the screen, and I kind of grabbed him a little bit. And next thing I know, I was trying to put that leg down. I was trying to put that left leg down, and uh, when I put it down, I couldn't put no pressure on that. And I couldn't put no pressure on that, I'm not gonna lie, and it caught, it caught, it like, it got real, real hot. Like, my, the back of my ankle got real, real hot. So I'm like, man, nah, man. I, I ain't never had no injury, injury like this. So I hopped my ass over there and sat down. And I told my homeboy, man, I'm gonna need some ice because I ain't never felt nothing like this before. And you know, like I said, I was working out crazy, y'all. I was working out like crazy. Um, doing my 15 minute runs, doing my sprints. And then I go in there and squat heavy. That's when I also was lifting with my arms. I go in there and bench heavy. Uh, I was power cleaning. Uh, like I said, I was doing ab work. I actually was working out like crazy. That's probably I probably was in the best my best shape ever during that time. But um, I, I got Coach Sam, um, Jimmy Sampson to actually look at my my uh, ankle. He ended up feeling the back of my ankle. He could feel like a gap in between. I could actually feel feel like that gap in between too. So uh, you know, just iced it up. End up hobbling around. <laughs> I make like every day normal, I'm gonna be okay the next day. So I'm hobbling around, end up going to my homeboy house. His grandma had some uh, had a crutch. So I end up getting that crutch. Um, so I can have uh, a little bit of support. So I walk in the house, you already know my dad looking at me, shaking my head, he said, I already knew something was gonna happen to you. I knew something was gonna happen to you. And you know, I think I always got that mindset. I don't, I don't know why he thinks like that. But anyway, I end up hurting myself real, real bad. And I told him, man, I'll be all right, I'll be all right. So I ended up going to bed, ended up going to sleep, man. I couldn't sleep. Uh, I could not sleep that night. I could not sleep that night, but uh, I got a little rest. But when I woke up that morning, shoot, I ain't gonna lie, I ended up telling my mom, I gotta go to the doctor. And this happened on February 28th. February 28th, 2016. I said I was about 25 years old when this happened, man. Like I said, my life kind of shifted around. When I was 24, 25. Like I said, I lost my job. Like I said, ended up messing my ankle. Ended up finding out that I tore my Achilles. That's what ended up happening. I ended up going to the doctor in the hospital. That's what they say. I got a torn Achilles. You know, I never had a big, big injury like that ever in my life. So, you know, it was kind of shocking. So, they put me in the boot. Put me in the gas, put me in boot and everything. You know, I had to stay in there for six weeks. 
And even then, man, like my mental and spiritual um, journey, man, it got it got much better because I couldn't I couldn't be active. I couldn't be active at that time. And at the same time, in 2016, um, around like March, it was either March 6th or March 9th. It was the same day. It was the same day I had surgery. Same day we had surgery, our house ended up flooding. So I think that was March 6th or 9th around that time. The same day I had surgery, our house ended up flooding. And I remember leaving the hospital, you know, I was pouring down rain and, you know, you can see, you can see the water levels are high. And, you know, we trying to make it home. We almost didn't, so obviously, man, we luckily ended up making it out because it really was, uh, it was real bad. It was real bad. We ended up going to my grandma's house. I think what ended up happening when we made it to my grandma's house, trying to get out the car, I ended up bumping my my leg again. So um, the next two days, all I was doing was just bleeding. It was bleeding like crazy. It would not stop bleeding. It would not stop bleeding. It was burning. So uh, we ended up going back to the, to the doctor. And they had to end up um, putting more stitches on there because um, two or three stitches ended up coming out. So that's why I was bleeding like that. Luckily, we went to the doctor because I could have bled out. Um, shout out to Erica Cole because she was there the whole time doing that process doing that journey and um i know for her it was it was a tough but you know i was a, i used to be a mobile guy and then it got to the point where i couldn't be mobile and, you know i had to depend on her i said shout out to her for being there during that time because um that's it i i actually was I actually was depressed during that time but at the same time i started building myself up because i had a lot of time on my head dealing with those thoughts um, and things like that and, you know finding ways to better myself like doing reading writing um reading the Bible, that's when I started getting more and more deep into the Bible, getting more into my spirituality and things like that. But but honestly, man, it, it was it, it was a good journey. And like I said, it, it made me it made me better. And after that, see after the house ended up flooding, the house ended up catching on fire. So uh yeah that that whole journey, the house ended up catching on fire, that whole journey was crazy. But I ended up shaking back uh during that process I ended up getting a job at um at the Rick, so during that summertime, I ended up getting a job at the Rick, Virgil Lane, Virgil Lane Rick. And I was coaching basketball, so uh, I'm glad I was able to experience that. Um, ended up getting out the boot. I was able to run around and jump around. Well, I couldn't really run around full speed, but I was running around playing ball with those um, those kids at Virgil Lane, having fun, teaching them the game, stuff like that. And that's when it started. That's when that when the passion started, started more and more and more. Started working out with kids. Uh, People, people around that love me because um, what I was doing with the kids and then next thing you know I get an opportunity at, at Caldwell Parish, shout out to Jimmy Sampson. You know, I was like, hell yeah. You want to basketball? I was like, hell yeah. Why not? So then, um, you know, getting an opportunity at Caldwell, met Coach Ford, ended up being a part of the basketball team, and cook, met Coach Duplexy, ended up um, being part of the football team, and um, I was already doing track with Coach Simmons. That's basically uh, story time right there for me. I just want to tell y'all a little bit about that journey, about when I tore my Achilles. Like I said, I was real down during that time, but I think during that time, that's what really made me. During that time, when I tore my Achilles, what well, I'm saying is when I lost my job, tore my Achilles, house flooded in, house caught on fire, that that made that molded me to be a better uh, better me, just to be honest, during that time. And that was around 2015, 2016, uh, six years ago. And I'm 31 now, I was 25 then. Now, like I said before then, my other journey that I had was in 2013. That's when I ended up um, leaving my role and going to Texas. And during that time, uh, there were some great things on that time. So I think it was 2012, 2013, man. I'm telling you, during that time, I grew as a male. I grew as a human being. I grew as a special being. You know, that's when I found out that I really was a special being in this world. That I had special abilities and that I could lead uplift so many people in this world. Um, and I had so many superpowers and parents about reading the Bible, reading my self-help books. You know, you know, just gaining more confidence because um, I was doing more of those things. And I had to, had to had to be more open because I had to meet new people when I was in Texas, like I said. But uh, that's all I got for you guys, man. Just a little story time for y'all. Hope y'all have a blessed day today. Hope y'all make the most of y'all day. I will see y'all later. Make sure y'all have a good one. Yes, sir. Yes, Lord. Let go. Be great. Don't let nobody stop you. I'll see y'all guys later. Peace. Love. That's all.